Hi, my name is Jamie, and I chose to focus on holding therapy as my dubious treatment. So holding therapy was originally designed to help children with various disorders, um, all from children that have disturbed attachment styles to children with depression, developmental disorders, and autism. Holding therapy is basically a practice that involves intense physical and emotional contact between the mother and the child to where no matter how much the child tries to get away, the mother will still restrain the child to hopefully yield to normal emotional development. Um, this was originally founded in 1980 by Nico Tinbergen who worked with like animal behavior and he believed that autism came from a sense of anxiety dominated emotional imbalances that lead to social withdrawal. So he came up with this tactic and then it was later popularized by a child psychiatrist named Dr. Martha Welch who came up with this book called Holding Therapy or Holding Time, sorry. So Holding Time was her book that basically popularized this idea and it became known in the UK and the US and it was said to be a very controversial book and there have been no real claims that can back this therapy. There were three studies done on individuals with autism and even though they all yielded to positive benefits, the scientific backing was highly, highly flawed and very poor quality. There were even two deaths reported from this type of intervention back in 2002 in the US and on almost every website I found there was a huge section on risks and safety and hazards because it is basically coercing a child to have close contact with someone and that could be very disturbing for children who really reject that kind of um, sensory, emotional contact. Um, so instead of this therapy, I believe ABA is a great intervention tactic because it actually has scientific backing. It has evidence. It has a lot of case studies. It works with data analysis, whereas this intervention has no scientific backing. There are many hazards involved. It's highly unethical and I only found blog posts, Wikipedia pages, and non-credible websites around it. And even within those sources, there was a high level of controversy and a lack of true understanding of what this therapy entails. And the only real source that supports it is Martha's book, Holding Time. But even that source was said to be rejected by many communities and highly controversial in the autism community. So I believe ABA to be the main alternative in this case because it is a scientific backed intervention. The credentials of this intervention are that you don't really have to have any and that um, was found on a website called researchautism.net and it basically said that the only person who needs to be involved in this therapy is the mother with some supervision of family but it doesn't even necessarily say there has to be a trained therapist involved though that is recommended so as you can see there really isn't conclusive evidence there is ongoing research they're unable to identify any studies where this is currently underway, but I think it is still being looked into in the autism community, although it is seemingly highly rejected. So there is no high quality research as of now, and it doesn't have any evidence to date. Thank you.